Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can fix input lag in Fortnite. I hope this guide helps you out to fix all kind of input latency, packet loss, ping issues, and a lot of other stuff. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Hello. Alright, first thing first, let's begin up with a simple settings which is mouse settings. For that, simply search for mouse settings on your PC, open it up and then click on additional mouse settings. So open up mouse properties in front of you. What you guys have to do is head over to the pointer options over here and then select the sixth tick over here for the pointer speed. That is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And once that is in the center, you have to disable enhance pointer precision. Pointer precision actually adds a drag to your mouse which adds up in input latency and unrealistic mouse drag simply disable that and it will help you to keep your mouse movements accurate once that is done click on the ok button next step is device manager and for that simply head over to device manager on your pc and once you're over here what you guys have to do is scroll a bit down until you find system devices in which you'll find composite bus enumerator high precision event timer and if you guys have numeric data processor and sm bus controller i would recommend you guys to right click on these drivers and then simply click on disable device all of these are key elements which add input latency to your game and disabling that will help you to improve your input latency drastically. Once that is done, you have to close this tree, open up network adopters and then find your ethernet controller. Right click on that, head over to its properties and then click on power management. Simply unselect allow computer to turn off this device to save power and then click on OK. After that, right click on its properties once again, head over to the advanced tab and then copy the exact same settings. ARP offload enabled, energy efficient ethernet off, flow control RX and TX, idle power down restriction disabled, interrupt moderation enabled, interrupt moderation rate low, IPv4 checksum offload RX and TX enabled, combo packet disabled, large send offload V2, IPv4 and IPv6 both of them should be enabled, locally administered address not present, NS offload enabled, packet priority and VLAN should be set to the enabled section over here, speed and duplex, I would recommend you guys to go with auto negotiation. For TCP checksum offload and UDP checksum offload, all of them should be RX and TX enabled, Wacon magic packet enabled, this one is enabled as well and Wacon pattern match should be set to disabled. Once it is done, click on the OK button and that should be it. Next step is optimizing your PC using V. TRL. You guys can download this software for absolutely free from the link in the description below. And once you open it up, it should be a trial version. You'd be redirected to a home page wherein once you log in, it will automatically detect your CPU usage and your system's hardware over here. What you guys have to do is head over to the tweaks section. This will diversify all of your tweaks in multiple profiles. These are the main tweaks which are responsible for your windows. These are the tweaks which are responsible for your input latency. These are the tweaks which are responsible for your graphics card along with the GPU tweaks over here. These are the unwanted services which you can disable right within the application and these are just the aesthetics. I would recommend you guys to head over to the latency tab first and enable affinities, disable synthetic timers, disable HPET, disable system responsiveness, keyboard tune, optimize mouse, optimize IO operations, timer resolution, simply click on the latency button over here, enable time resolution and once that is done, head over to the services section and over here I would recommend you guys to remove OneDrive, disable fax and print services if you do not use them and after that head over to the aesthetics tab disable transparency and clean taskbar and startup applications over here then head over to the power plan section enable turbo boost over here you guys can select desktop over here and then click on set power plan and that will apply the most optimal power plan for your pc vtrl also has an inbuilt cleaner and deep load option wherein if you can run the cleaner it will automatically clean all of these temporary files off of your pc overall vtrl has tons of features and all-in-one utility tweaks to unlock the maximum performance of your pc and i have left a link to check out btrl in the description below so you guys can go try it out for yourself and let me know if that helped next step is indexer options and for that simply search for indexing options over here and then you want to have to click on advanced and then click on rebuild over here click on the ok button and that should be it 
it will help you to re-index all of the applications on your pc and broken indexes can lead to input issues next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc over here select your local disk c and then click on the create button over here enter fortnite just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss once that is done, simply click on the close button and then close system properties. The next step is Fortnite input delay fix pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. In here, you'll find four simple folders. Let us start with the first one that is Fortnite optimization in which I have left the Fortnite priority. This will help you to set up the correct value for your D word to improve the priority of your game. And to run it, you can simply double click to apply it. I have already done it. Second folder is the input delay improvement in which I have left keyboard latency fix in which I have left five keyboard buffers. I want you guys to leave your keyboard and mouse specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which keyboard buffer you need to choose over here. Next is mouse latency registries which help you to fix your mouse curve. You guys can see it helps you to set up the correct X and Y curve for your mouse including your sensitivity which will make your input more accurate. Simply double click to apply this and then go back to the third folder which is disable unwanted services where I have left these few services which are really useless on your PC which adds up to input latency. Simply double click and disable every single one of these which will help you to boost the performance of your PC as well. Next is programs in which I have left these few programs all of them will help you to improve your FPS and improve your input latency. First is clean temporary files you wanna have to right click on it as administrator. It opens up this screen window you wanna have to press any key on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files off of your PC. It is a very healthy practice and I would recommend you guys to do it every now and then before you open up your game. Press another key and it will close automatically. Next one is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Simply right click on it as administrator. This simple software will help you to set up the correct interrupt priority for your graphic card. To do that, simply find your graphic card in this list and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, you wanna have to select high over here and once that is done, click on apply. This will ensure that your graphic card can handle higher interrupts and improve the performance and render latency of your games. Next is Quick CPU and this is only a setup file. You have to install it and open this application up. Once Quick CPU opens up, you can see a very simple interface like this. It might look complicated in the beginning, but don't worry, I'm going to be guiding you all through it. Firstly is the power plan, which you have to select high performance over here. This will disable all kind of power saving features on your PC and help you to improve the performance of your hardware. Don't forget to click on set as active. And once that is done, this profile will be activated. Next is your core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance profile over here. I want you guys to slide it all the way up to 100% to disable core parking on your PC. And once that is done, click on the apply button and then click on OK and then close this program. Also close your input delay fix pack. Next step is actually going through Windows settings which are really really useful. Simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're over here, head down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Game bar runs overlay service on your games which consumes your CPU and RAM resources in the background. Disabling this service will help you to drastically reduce your input latency. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. I noted it multiple times, game mode turned on will always help you to improve the performance of your games. Now you wanna head over to the personalization section and then click on colors. Over here, you'll find something called transparency effects. What you guys have to do is simply turn this thing off. It is a very useless service, but it will help you to fix input latency as well. Next step is using no ping to fix all kind of network issues shoes and packet loss on your PC. You can get a free trial for 7 days right from the link in the description below. Once you open up the application, it should look like this and over here you have to look for the game. Simply search for Fortnite because this application offers you more than 300 games to choose from. Simply click on your game and then click on choose manual. Head over to the nearest region to you. For me, it would be Middle East. And then the server I'm going to be going ahead with is the one which has the lowest ping. That is Dubai 03. Simply click on optimize this game and it will one click optimize your game right away. The best part about no ping is that it helps you to boost your FPS, reduce your packet loss ping issues and input latency by helping you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any kind of hindrance which will help you to improve the performance. It also has an AI server swap just in case you have another server which offers you better ping, it will automatically connect to that without any kind of packet loss. I personally use Noping for myself and I have seen drastic improvements and I would recommend you guys to go check out Noping for yourself for free from the link in the description below. Once you're done with all that, you guys can now drop into the game with the best in-game settings 
to ensure that you get the lowest amount of input latency. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head down to the settings gear. In the video settings, you're gonna have to make sure that your window mode is set to windowed full screen because this will allow you to improve your FPS with the latest technology out with Nvidia drivers. Then your VSync should be turned off, frame rate limit should be set to unlimited, rendering mode should be set to performance, lower graphical fidelity. Then you're gonna have to scroll down until you find the 3D resolution and put it up to 100%. Nanite virtualized geometry should be turned off. View distance at like it medium. You guys can also go with far if your PC allows that. Textures low, meshes low. Show FPS and performance issues. You guys can enable show FPS and performance charts. I would recommend you guys to go with disable. Click on the apply button and then click on keep changes. After that, head over to the audio settings and then scroll a bit down until you find sound quality. You wanna have to keep this low because it will impact your performance and FPS directly. Once it is done, press your escape key and now you guys can enjoy your game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We're really close to 259 subscribers and I trust you all. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.